My brothers, I like the fact that it's cold. And I love the fact that every one of you is uncomfortable. And many of you are thinking about your car and you're thinking about your home. You're thinking, get me out of here, let me get back into the car where there's some warmth. But, with, but when you look into this hole, you need to look into the real home. This is the destination of every single one of us, my brothers. This is the reality of life. They say the cemetery is a quiet place. They say the cemetery is a silent place with a loud message. When I went to Syria, there was a cemetery in Syria there. It had a plaque on the door. And the plaque read, Do not be surprised by us, speaking on behalf of the dead. Do not be surprised by us, for we were like you <coughs> yesterday. And as for tomorrow, tomorrow you will be like us. When Uthman radiallahu when he would come to the grave, he would cry excessively. He would cry like he doesn't cry to any other subject, to any other topics. A Sahaba would ask, Oh Uthman, why do you cry like this when you come to the grave? Why don't you cry like this when, you know, when the Prophet speaks about hellfire? Or when he, he says, because this is, the, this he, this is the reality. If this is a pass, everything else is a pass. But if you fail here, my brothers, then I'm sorry to say everything after this is a failure. You're cold now, aren't you? You're uncomfortable now, aren't you? Imagine what it's like to be down there. Imagine what it's like to be down there, my brothers. In a few minutes, we will all go back to our cars, nice and warm. And I'm confident that the conversation will be, let's go get something to eat. This brother now will be left alone. As you walk away, the angels will come to question him. The angels will come to question him, my brothers. Angels, two angels, Munkar and Nakir. Eyes like lightning, voices like thunder, and they will question, who is your Rabb? So many of you are confident to say that, hey man, Allah is my Rabb. But my brothers, what you don't realize is the tongue doesn't work in a dead body. Mouths don't move. They don't move when you're dead. What answers? The heart. And the heart will answer what it worshipped. If you worship dunya and you worship money, the heart would say that the dunya and money is my Rabb. And the heart knows. The heart knows. The heart sees you wake up in odd hours of the night, driving two, three hours to get to work. You're there for 10, 15 hours, no problems. And it sees you when it's time for Fajr and you turn a blind eye and you don't even have the time to drive for two, three minutes to go to the masjid. The heart knows who its real Rabb is. This is the reality, my brothers. يَتْبَعُ الْمَيَّةَ ثَلَاثَةَ Rasulullah Sallallahu he says in the authentic hadith. يَتْبَعُ الْمَيَّةَ ثَلَاثَةَ Three things they follow the man to the grave. His wealth, his family and his deeds. I'm sure his family are he, yes or no? Yes. And his wealth is also he, yes or no? Yes. You, aren't you his children? That's his wealth. His money is he. I'm sure one way or another, someone has to pay for this. And his amal. In a few minutes, and some of you already in their hearts are thinking, when's this guy gonna finish, man? In a few minutes, we'll be going back to our cars. Rasulullah says, He says, His wealth and his family will go back. And what is left? This is life, my brothers, here. Look, this is the truth. This is it. What value does your home have here? Where are your buddies now? Where are your girlfriends now? Where's your weed now? Where's your car, bro? Where is it now? Any one of these people, take them out of the ground. And tell him, brother, you have one more day in dunya. How do you think you live it? My brothers, where are we going? Where? Why are you wasting your life? Why do we waste our life? I don't understand. 
Did you think this day was not coming, Yanni? 